Welcome to the show, Julian Assange. Now, it won't surprise you, most of the show this morning so far has been about this great European debate. Do you have a view about whether Britain should stay in the EU or leave? I, I do, but first, just let me correct you. Uh, I have political asylum at this embassy in relation to a US espionage investigation, uh, which is now in its fifth year, the largest ever uh, investigation and pending prosecution of a publisher, a very serious business. Sure. My co-defendant, uh, Chelsea Manning, was sentenced to 35 years sure. in prison and tortured uh, in that prison, a uh, finding both of the UN and by the US military itself. Now, I understand that. On, on uh, and thank you for clearing that up. Um, on Brexit, where do you stand? Uh, on Brexit, well, <clears throat> uh, leave is a lot more interesting, right? But I, I think you can you can uh, put the camps like this. You've got uh, right in, uh, that's basically a vote for the empire, uh, right out, a uh, vote for the old empire, uh, left out, uh, another world is possible, left in, uh, another world is not really possible at all. Uh, but on that right in camp, uh, you, really have to do in you really have to include uh, the Blairites. Now, uh, there's been a, a range of, uh, let's say, uh, vulgar transatlanticists uh, from Hillary Clinton uh, to Hillary Benn uh, pushing uh, the stay in case. They, they perceive that their power base uh, is somehow connected uh, to the United States. And the United States wants to keep the UK in the EU to be its man uh, in the EU, in effect to prevent uh, continental Europe uh, from being all that it might become. So does that mean, sorry, that you're a Brexit? That you think we should leave? Uh, pretty much, pretty much. I mean, I also have a, there's a, something I've experienced personally, uh, which is seeing uh, this government, uh, the Cameron government, uh, repeatedly uh, use the EU as political cover for its own decision-making. It launders things to the EU and then claims that it can't do anything about it. Uh, for example, the EAW, the European Arrest Warrant. Uh, we think here in the United Kingdom that you have a right to a, a fair trial, that that includes evidence, judges uh, and charges. Uh, but in my case, we don't have any of that. And it's not just me. Many people in the UK have been affected by that. That's a fundamental uh, basis of sovereignty, uh, is random officials in the rest of the European Union uh, can't suddenly force your police to arrest people. Well, Cameron says, in relation to my situation, uh, well, it's nothing that he can do. It's not the decision of, this, of his government uh, to engage in this uh, extremely expensive siege for the last four years. Rather, he's forced to do it uh, by the EU. But, of course, actually, the EAW has been pushed by uh, uh, the former Labour government uh, and this government, and uh, Cameron passes the buck uh, to the EU in that case also in data, data retention and also for the, the TTIP. Can, so can I, can I, a lot can of I the just... worst elements coming out of the yep. EU have yep. been actually pushed by governments in the UK. I... So the UK is bad for the EU, but also the EU is bad for the UK because it permits uh, a lack of democratic accountability in this country by permitting successive governments in this country uh, to simply say, oh, we're forced into doing things uh, because of EU le legislation, when it is precisely these governments that have been behind that EU legislation in the first place. And you can see that also in relation to immigration. Can, uh, can, now, can, if you look can, at the figures... Can, can I move us on, sorry, though, because it, 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 it simply we've got a lot to cover and we haven't got enough, that much time. You mentioned um, Hillary Clinton, who's now the Democratic candidate for the presidency. Um, I, you've been taking an interest, I understand, in the whole issue of the email she sent you're using her private server. Do you have any of the undisclosed emails? Well, taking an interest, I think, is putting it mildly. We've published 32,000 uh, of them in some analysis. Mm. Uh, it's, we have upcoming leaks in relation to Hillary Clinton, which yep. is great. We actually have a, WikiLeaks has a very big year uh, so, ahead. But, some, but some, of the, some of the ones uh, that have those, not yet come into the public domain, you are planning yeah. to put out? We have emails related to Hillary Clinton, which uh, are pending uh, publication. That is correct. But the, the what about the FBI the investigation? What, do you, what, what about the FBI yeah. investigation itself? Where do you think that will end up? Well, unfortunately, I think what's going to happen is that the, the FBI is going to go 
uh, we have accumulated a lot of uh, material about Hillary Clinton. We could pr proceed to an indictment. But if you've got Loretta Lynch as the DOJ, uh, head of the DOJ in the United States, appointed by Obama, uh, Loretta Lynch is the person in charge of our case, uh, she's not going to indict uh, Hillary Clinton. That's not possible. That could happen. But the FBI can push for concessions from uh, the new Clinton government uh, in exchange for its lack of indictment. But there's, there's very strong material, both in, uh, in the emails and in relation to the Clinton Foundation. For example, we publish an email where Hillary Clinton is instructing her staff to remove the classified header of a classified document and send it by non-classified fax. Uh, so that just requires one more thing, which is to show that the document was actually sent. But she instructed her staff to violate those uh, uh, classification procedures in the United States. Of course, I think personally a lot of these procedures are ridiculous, but Hillary Clinton uh, has been uh, pushing to prosecute others, and so has Barack Obama, uh, who violate technically uh, these procedures. Very briefly, I mean, plainly, what you are saying and what you've been publishing hurts Hillary Clinton. Would you prefer Trump to be president? Well, uh, I think tr Trump is a completely unpredictable uh, phenomenon. You, ca you can't predict what he would uh, do in office. You can predict a bit more what the Republican Party would do in office. Uh, from my personal perspective, well, you know, the emails we published show that Hillary Clinton is receiving constant updates about my personal situation. Mm. She has uh, pushed uh, for the prosecution uh, of WikiLeaks, which is still in train. Uh, so we do see her as a bit of a problem uh, for freedom of the press more generally. Uh, and in relation to wars, uh, the emails we revealed about her involvement in Libya and statements by Pentagon generals show that Hillary was overriding the Pentagon's reluctance uh, to overthrow uh, Muammar al-Gaddafi because they, would, they predicted that the post-war outcome would be something like what it is, which is ISIS taking over the country. It's Hillary who was the leading champion uh, in office to do that. Uh, she has a, a long history of being a liberal war hawk. Uh, and we, we presume that she's going yep. to proceed. I'm really uh, sorry, Mr. Assange, but I'm being told we're out of time. But it's been a j pleasure talking to you and hope to speak to you again. Thank you. Bye All bye. the best. Thank you.